Hello everyone and welcome to for our very first lectures in uh, this channel. I will start giving lectures for the most fundamental course in electrical and electronics engineering which is the circuit theory. I will try to upload the lectures every week. I hope you can find these lectures are useful for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and give feedback to support the channel. In this course, we will basically we will go through 10 chapters. First of all, uh, we will go through the inductory chapters very quick, where we will define the basic elements of the circuit. Okay, now you would ask why chapter 4 is uh, typed in red. Well, because it is the most important chapter. If you master chapter 4, everything would start be easy and understandable in the following, following lectures. And later, the only thing you would need to understand the small concepts. Then we would go to the most difficult chapters in, co in the course, where we need to use differential equations in our calculations. And finally, we would go to, the, to start uh, the AC analysis. It would be the same as chapter 4 and 5, but with complex numbers that are entered in our calculations. Maybe after th uh, that, we would go further and start giving other chapters related to Laplace and Fourier transforms. But, uh, and other, other topics like filter design and uh, two-port circuits. That depends on your feedback whether the, these videos are helpful or not. Let's start now our intro and nowadays since everything becoming digitalized circuits are in everywhere in our uh, everyday routine from TV to laptops and mobiles, cars, etc. and also applied in every field you can imagine the medical devices that in the hospital built with circuits airplanes have circuits for control purposes and power the jet up the major, uh, the major fields in electrical engineering is our communication systems Power systems, electronics, compute, computer, uh, computers control, and uh, digital and signal. Let's see the application of circuits in telephone system for an example. First, I would like to define communication system as the system that generates, transmit, and distributes information. Let's start our analysis of the system from the left, from the transmitter end. Inside the telephone, there's a microphone captures the sound waves and turns it into uh, electrical signals. These signals uh, are carried to the switching center where are combined with the signals of from million signals of other telephones. The coaxial cable will carry the signals uh, through the micro station. The microwave station will transform the signals into micro frequencies and broadcast it uh, from the transmission antenna to the space via the satellite. Now from the other side, the receiving antenna will, receive, will capture the micro frequencies. Then the receiving station would translate the micro signals using pulses of light through the fiber optic. Then, the passing uh, after passing the second switching uh, center, uh, the combined signals are separated and each, uh, uh, and each is routed to the appropriate telephone, where an earphone acts as a speaker to convert uh, the, received, the received electrical signal back into sound waves. Now, every stage of the system has its own circuit designed to do its own purpose and that's why it's important to study circuit theory we came to the end of this video thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe at the channel to support us see you in the next lecture